Hi guys, Lucy here from Hunting for George. Today I am in Shearwater in Tasmania's north. It is a beautiful sunny day and I have a very calm coastal retreat to take you through. Let's go check it out. I love the exterior of this home. You've got the curve in the brickwork and as well in the timber cladding. So this is our front entrance. Wonderful sense of arrival. So this site is actually elevated. So we do need to step up five steps to get to our ground floor. The first room through here is a bedroom. I like the energy of the, the bedroom, the way it spills out onto this outdoor entertaining area. We've got clever storage hiding underneath our stairs. And through here we have our ground floor bathroom. So this, there's a couple of things I really like in this bathroom. The one thing I wanted to point out is I like the storage. I really like the treatment of this. It goes to full height, that vertical storage, which is tucked away neatly with that, you know, timber feature. And not only, of course, we've got the uh, drawer storage and the vanity. But this is what I want to show you. So this is obviously a accessible bathroom for entertaining outside. But if you want more privacy, if you've got a party going on, flick of a switch, instant privacy. Oh my God, I love that. Step away from the light switch, you got a home tour to do. <laughs> All right, so welcome to our ground floor living, dining, kitchen area. This has a really nice feeling in this lower level. They've created a living sitting area through here. Uh, it's just a nice place to chill, you know, if you had a little bit too much sun outside. Wonderful views out here. There is no neighbor out this window. It is just all beautiful bushland, not to mention there's wallabies jumping around out there. So we've got our fridge here. This is a very functional kitchen area. We've got an oven, we've got the sink. We have got plenty of storage for all of our glasses. But I did spy this. It's a little lolly stall. <gasps> Skittles. Now I've got enough energy to keep going with the home tour. <laughs> ah, so those bifolds open completely up, taking you outside, really flowing on this you know, entertaining space. It just feels really good out here. They've created lots of different zones. Private access to the beach. It's from the outside that this home really unravels itself, that you can really get a sense for the space. Here you've got your step detail, but they've created this bench seating as well, which kind of flows onto the lawn area. But we do need to get up there. And I am 
very excited to take you upstairs. I've got a couple more rooms to show you though. So through here we have a guest bedroom. This door leads out to a undercover double carport as well as the garage. And through here is our laundry, which again, they have nailed their storage, floor to ceiling, very well stacked and also a very neat linen cupboard. Okay, now it is time to go upstairs. <sighs> Take a look at that view. That really is a very unique view. There's wonderful boulders and islands and it's high tide right now, but you know, as the tide goes out, it would change quite a lot. So I love how active this feels. I'm standing in the kitchen. It feels very good. I wanna point your attention to this very functional island bench here. We've got this lid for our bin. You can also access it with a draw pull. Also here, fridge, wonderful soft clothes. You've got a fridge here as well, that's integrated. And I like the fact that they've kept this open for their microwave as well. So this is a very functional island bench. So I think that works fantastically well. Obviously you've got more of your prep area over here. They've got this shelf detail, which again is very practical. It just feels like a very practical, real home. Coffee station. They've got it dialed, all of their, it's actually very deep storage as well. All right, I'm gonna open this door. Oh, this is a wonderful pocket and a wonderful space in the home. And the owners were actually saying, this is our favorite space to hang out. And I can understand why. So through here, we have a very generous size living area. So this is the main living area and it's a bit more of a sophisticated colour palette and finishing to the one that we saw downstairs. Again, this view is just sensational. Okay, I need to show you the master bedroom. First so through here we have a powder room. So we have an ensuite through here. I'm going to show you that next, but this is the master bedroom. It is absolutely dripping with light. It feels so incredibly good. That is incredibly special. So we have the ensuite through here. Cavity sliding door revealing a very generous ensuite. A very light, calm color palette timber and white, very consistent in this home and a very generous shower tucked behind there as well. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink and let's sit down and take a closer look at this house.
So there was a lot that made me smile about the Shearwater house, but I must admit I was really quite taken with its exterior. It just felt like a very welcoming, friendly hug. <laughs> you know, you can see it from the street. It is elevated. It is quite a bold structure, but there's something just very unobtrusive about it. And I think that's in part because one, the materials, that beautiful natural timber cladding and that wonderful exposed brick. It's very soft and it very much feels like it's part of the landscape. But also that treatment of the curves in that brick and the timber cladding, the way that centralizes your attention and focus to that top outdoor entertaining area. There's just something so inviting about it. And I think curves, to be honest, curves always do that for me in, in design. You know, there's nothing rigid about them. And I think the smoothness, the softness of those curves help to kind of match what's happening in the surrounding area. You know, I'm looking out onto beautiful undulating ripples in the ocean. I'm seeing wonderful boulders. So I like the way it does just continue to feel part of its environment. Speaking of the environment, we are in a very special area here in Shearwater. This home is actually at the end of the Esplanade. So there is no other neighbor this way. All you can see is bushland and water and wallabies. There's wallabies jumping all over the place. The architecture for this house was cumulus and they really did want to make sure they settled this home within its natural environment. The homeowners very much wanted to elevate the site because there is actually a sand dune in front of us. So had they actually stayed on ground level, they wouldn't have been able to get this phenomenal view over to the water. So this whole site is elevated. We did step up into the ground floor and that ground floor is very energetic. I loved the way they'd actually chosen to keep that quite sort of open and engaging and it had its own energy and pace down there. I like the fact that they repeated a kitchen area, dining, living room. So I really like that accessible space, you know, downstairs for when you do want to host more people and you do really want to open up your home. And that is literally what this home does. It really opens itself up to the environment. It's when you get upstairs though that you realize exactly why the owners wanted to make sure they went up a level because because this view is just sensational. There is just such a wonderful feeling up here. It's very warm, there's wonderful light streaming through these windows. I like the way that they can open up the sliding doors upstairs. We also had the bifolds downstairs as well. The kitchen area feels really good. Like it's a very functional, practical kitchen. The joinery there is fantastic. I love the storage. It's very much thought out. It's practical, it's real. There's ample bench space, there's really clever integrated appliances and drawers. It just works, it makes me smile, and I just loved it. That very much is the center point of the upstairs area. Everything literally just flows off the kitchen. There's the additional living area and as well the dining. This has a wonderful color palette in here. It's all very natural. In fact, there's very much a coastal natural theme throughout this entire home. The master bedroom, it's in its own separate wing upstairs. It, it is just sensational. That view is just ridiculous. I mean, honestly. And I love how those curtains as well, you know, mean that the light coming in, it's wonderfully filtered and dappled. It just had a wonderful cozy feeling in that bedroom. So this home made me feel at home as soon as I walked through the doors. It really is all about embracing its environment, the location and those views. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. I would love to know what you thought, so leave me a comment below. And be sure to like and subscribe because we've got plenty more home tours coming your way.